Michael and I are together in Colorado. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited today because look who's behind me. Oh, he's filming me. Michael and I are together in Colorado and we're getting our first ever Goodwill. Goodwill in Colorado. There's Mark. Mark can't wait to get in. He's just, <laughs> he he's going to, he's, get out either. he's getting all the good stuff before we get in there. So let's go see what we can find in our very first Colorado Goodwill. The bookshelf over there, the toys. And this is a, a f different Goodwill. So I don't, oh look, they got Skechers. But we're not looking. They got new socks. Usually that's kind of a bad sign when I've been into Goodwills before. If you see like new stuff like that. But we'll see. We shall see. All right. Oh, we got a globe sitting on a glass sphere. I sold these globe paperweights before, but I think it's attached to that. But here's some birds. These are parakeets, $1.99. I love my Nana. There's a little music box. Here's some pottery. Wouldn't it be great if the first one we came through, we found some Van Briggle? <laughs> Wouldn't that be fabulous? That's not Van Briggle though. It's a little pottery mug or cup. Oh, there's two of them. There's two matching cups. Now I flew out here, so I have to be very picky about what I'm buying. Like I'm not going to buy this Clydesdale or these little bunnies. $2.99 each because you know I got luggage. So I have to be kind of picky. It's a zebra. Oh look at the flamenco dancer. He's, he's awesome. He's a Martin made in Spain. He's pretty fabulous. He's $8.99. I, I like you, sir. So this is um, made in Japan. It's $1.99, this little rose. But it has a few little boobers on it. They're not too bad. Boop. Um, Silico Portugal, little Portugal trinket dish. Made in Japan. Holiday imports. Don't stress me out. Okay. These are not Van Briggle. Oh, is this a black light? Oh, Mark found a black light flashlight for $4.99. Well, you never know. Like, yeah, you know, we need those. Mark, you should take it and shine it on everything to see if anything glows. This is a little shoe. This is $4.99 for this little blue dish here. Birds there little key cat dish. Now Mark has been known to find some lucite candles just laying on the laying on the shelves at the Goodwill from time to time. Lots of pottery pieces. I'm really liking to see all of the pottery that's here. So it's kind of fun to see. Look Michael and Epern. <laughs> and Epern. Here's a little cut to clear bowl for $3.99. Now, if I was not flying out here, I would have bought this. But I, oh, I just felt a little, I felt a little boober on it though. Um, but oh look. Happy. The H must have just disappeared. Let's see. These are kind of fun. This little elephant bookends, $3.99. I wonder if they're $3.99 each. Yes. They're $3.99 each. Oh, we always have to look because I always look for fairy lamp inserts. I did just, oh, that's a whole, that's a whole outfit there. I did just buy a Fenton fairy lamp from Goodwill back home that had it's missing the insert. So it'd be nice to find an insert. Oh, this is Westmoreland. This is the Westmoreland Miss America. I am going to get this. 
it's made by Miss West. It's made by, made by Westmoreland, but it's the Miss America. I'm gonna have Mark check it over real good for my for any little boobers on it. But I've sold this one before. I smile because you're my daughter-in-law. I laugh because you married my son. Well, that's not very nice. Again, if we were at home, I'd buy this too because these are great. If you sell plates and stuff, you can stack them for your inventory, keep them on there. So it's nice to use. I always look for um, storage things when I make it. Let's see what kind of, oh, this is a, kind of a cool mug here. It's a little elephant on it. Their mugs are $1.99. He's kind of cute. Kitty. Mm, a little California mug with the flamingos on it. What's this one? Some kind of ranch. Dude ranch. I like to look at mugs. Oh, there's a skull mug. Someone's decorated that themselves. It's a little grab and go bag with a little baby. It's unfortunate though, because that is an old jointed dog. And his head's broken off. That makes me really sad. There is a, this little, um, there's this bottle in here, but there is this um, perfume holder. You can see there, has the daubers. I don't know, it has, I kind of like that because of that little perfume holder. I'm just trying to see. It has one dauber. I don't know if the other dauber is in there or not. There are a couple older bottles in there, so. Mm. It does have both the bottles, so I do like that, but I'm sad about that baby. Oh, I'm going to think about it. Gosh, let's see. If we were home, I would buy this too. Let me look. It's all these miniatures in here. There's a Matchbox car right there. But look at all these little miniatures. I don't know. I might get this because I can. This I can easily get these things in my. I'm gonna get this. It's $8.99. But it's got a little mailbox in there. I'm gonna get this. I can go through it later. Boober checkers, boob, boober in it. I like Eastmoreland better. Huh? I like oh, he marks like Eastmoreland better than Westmoreland, but so far there's no chippies on it, so we'll probably get that. Well, here's a little Lucite spoon rest for two. Hey, Mark, bring me that flat. Hand me that flashlight. We found this flashlight at the Goodwill. Look, it has a green glow to it. It's not here, Mark. It's got, it has, unfortunately, it has a lot of chips here on the back. So I am going to leave that one behind. The colors aren't that great with, with it either. Mm, someone's already tried to peel the label off of that. I don't do a lot of china. It just doesn't interest me. I know that there is money in it, but it's a little piece of carnival glass. Yeah, you're actually, I'm actually seeing vintage at Goodwill. It's a long time since that has happened. Hmm. Well, look at this fun little jar here. It's a little. This is. Oh, does that say Royal? Oh, this is Royal Copley. Well, look at that little Royal. Co oh, it's got a boober. It's got a boober right there. I was like, Royal Oakley, Royal Copley, Misty, good grief. Now, I would have bought that if it didn't have the chip on it. This little piece of glass, no, that's Anchor Hawking. Petite Potier. Yeah, this is the most vintage I have seen in a Goodwill. Oh, look, flats grass. Look. I'm sorry, David, you're never going to live that down. The, the flats, gra flats grass mugs. Not going to get those, but. Um, hmm. I've seen a lot of vintage here, though. And a lot of pottery. I like, I like that. I like the pottery vibe. Oh, this is Swedish. This is a piece of Swedish glass. 
It's got that controlled bubble in there. That's pretty cool. But I mean, it's $2.99. I have to take it back with me on the plane. Just not sure it's gonna, I don't, I don't wanna, this is crystal here too. Hear that ding? It's a little crystal candle holder. It's $1.99, that's a great price. See, both of these things I would have bought if I, you know, wasn't out of my state. Didn't have to take it on the plane. Pier one, some of these can be collectible too because they're not being made anymore. There's a whole bag full of doll heads. Look at her. What's this one look like? <laughs> oh, she's kind of cute. These little porcelain doll heads. They're not babies, they're dolls. Mm. Oh, I like the little baby ones. I still I still have that one in my cart that is a broken baby, but I'm not buying it for the baby, I'm buying it for the perfume bottles that are in it. All right, I wasn't gonna go down this pots and pans aisle, but we might as well, because you know, maybe we can find something. Oh, look at these. What can you make on here? A mini pie pan? Let's see. Some vintage Tupperware. Some vin hammered aluminum. Some pink shoes. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's a... I thought it was the cat in the hat, but those are floating vegetables. I thought it was one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Check this side. It's a little straw doll. Oh, here's some sand art. I think this stuff just mesmerizes me how this is made. See, there's the mountains. Isn't that cool? It's a dollar ninety-nine. A little, oh, here's a fan. Get hot. Um, elephants. Little hummingbird votive. Oh, here's a little tiki from Hawaii. It's a modern piece. I kind of like this fish. It's kind of neat. Classy baby. No. Wouldn't that be crazy if it was? But it's not. Um, Dresden? No. But that's really heavy and very rusty. So we're going to leave that. I don't even know where Michael went. We went two separate ways. So we could each find some great treasures. I don't know if he's found anything or not. Oh, look at these little guys. They're a little howling. Coyotes, maybe? Somebody's tile project. Here's a doll. This is an old doll. She's $6.99. She is, might be an F and B. I think she might be. But she's an old doll. Not really into the dolls. And here's a little precious moments. Um, oh, at one time it was $50. She's a little baby. But yeah, I do check out the plush a little bit more closely since I found the really expensive Build-A-Bear. Are you Build-A-Bear? This is Build-A-Bear. Mark, look up Glisten. Build-A-Bear. Let's see. Let me look it up. So Mark looked up Glisten. Glisten's not really worth a whole heck of a lot for us to mess with being what we're here. Look at this baby. Oh my word. What happened to your hair, baby? Some little kid got a hold of some scissors. Look at this baby, Mark. I don't know what you did. If you talk. Um, big. <laughs> Bless you. Oh my gosh, this is like the where the wild things are. It's the Gruffalo. Aw. Here's a USA. Hey, here's Build a Bear. Um in the military. See, these got tags on them. Here's Build a Bear. It's a collect -a bear I'm part of the World Wildlife Series Fund. Okay, so we're going to have to do a little bit of searching on these Build-A-Bears because 
You never know. There's a deer. You're not build a bear though. You're FAO Schwartz. There's a doodle bear. No, there's a Hot Wheels build a bear. Okay, we need to look. We got to look up these build a bears. Thin mints. I think I looked up the Girl Scout ones, and they're not worth anything. They're not worth anything. No. That one's not. The Hot Wheels. I don't know, but is this one? Did you look this one up? He's not, this little guy, they're not worth anything. But, you know, I do look at them a little bit closer now because some of them are worth quite a bit of money. Oh, there's the little Aristocats cat. What are you? A bunny. And I like to look at the games. I'm not seeing any games right off the bat. But there's a brand new Glee game. I don't think it's really worth anything. What's this one? Oh, we can make a stepping stone. That's a lot of work there in the stepping stone. I think that's about it. I think we are getting ready to check out. All right, we got back to the house and I wanted to go ahead and go through these little box of miniatures that I got from Goodwill. So let's... I did end up... I got that one little grab bag that had... The little baby. Now, she is made in occupied Japan, but Mark is going to glue her head back together. And when we do that, she'll just go in my collection, but I couldn't. I, she's a little jointed baby made in occupied Japan. I couldn't leave her behind. So, we'll get, we'll, we'll put her back together. And then there was this little bottle here that I just thought was kind of nice. It has this metal lid on it. Um, and then we have the USS Constitution. These are the, like little magnets that I'll probably just put in like little package choppers as a, a freebie. And then I like this. This is that little perfume vial holder. It has the little vial right there. So you, the perfume would go down the bottles. This is marked Germany on the bottom, but I love that Art Deco, Art Nouveau look on those. So that was in the, the grab bag. And then this is the box of miniatures that I got. And I did pay $8.99. But here we've got the Littles. This is die cast. Made by Mattel. So this is a little chair and ottoman. I mean, I'm going to... Um, there's no barcode on this either. So this is prior to 1973. Or, well, this says Mattel 1980, but there's no barcode on it. I don't know, but there's the Littles, so I'll have to see if that's worth anything. This is, oh no, Cumberfluck Carlson. I think that these were, well, this is all in German. It's a little uh, copper pot set. This, I thought, was the most adorable thing. I'm probably going to keep this little thing, but it's a little mailbox, a little lithograph. It's made in Hong Kong. I just thought it was so cute. Letters and packages. And then these, I think, it says they're made in China. I think they're just little, um, little ornaments, maybe. There are two of those in here. But they could be like a dollhouse in a, mini in a miniature dollhouse set. Smallest old timers ever made. These are made in Japan. House of Miniatures from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Okay. Oh my goodness. Look at that. It's little, the little, the little cars. Well, that's adorable. Okay. That was in there. There was this little, this is a matchbox car. Cabin cruiser and trailer. Did you look it up, Mark? Mm -hmm. What's the? Oh wow! Is that is it complete? I haven't looked inside. That so box. you know, twenty six ninety nine plus shipping. So that's pretty cool. Here, I'll let you open up the box. And then this is a whole little flat full of this copper. There's a little sundial right there. This copper dollhouse furniture. So that was pretty good. And then. Oh, this is a little cat. I wonder if it's the, the Littles, because it's supposed to be all cast. This is a little um, oven. Oh, let's see, there's a marking on the bottom. Yeah, Mattel. So this is another Littles set. 
maybe some of these little there might be some of these little pots and pans that come with it. Is it in there? It's complete. It's complete. Okay. What's this? Like a little dish. We have a table with a broken leg and a chair with a broken leg. So I'm not sure what we'll do with those. And then we've got a little, little this is from Miniland. Brass plated contemporary made in Taiwan. Um, Mark, can you open that for me? I'll have Mark open that. These are interesting to me. I think these are, they're like, like there's little miniature books. I'm going to open that up a little and look through that a little bit further. But here's a little um, secretary. And I think, or a little hutch maybe. I think that's supposed to go on top. But on the back, that's the drawer. George Becker, Denver, 1970. Now it says $230. I will look this up. Honestly, it is very nicely made. Those hinges. And it has the drawer. And then it has the top here. But look at the hardware on that. I think that's pretty cool. So this must have been a handmade piece. And I think... It, part of maybe not it goes on there like that yeah I'll have to look that up John oh John Becker oh that goes to the table but other than I don't know what this go, these two things go to we don't know and then this well they could go to this this is like a little dollhouse bed and dresser set but oh Mark set up the little brass cart Oh, that's cute. And then I wanted to open up these. Okay, so what are... Okay, these are matchbooks, but I think they use them as art. But see, the it has matches. So there's that one. This is a matchbox jigsaw puzzle. Oh, look, it's like a little, little wooden jigsaw puzzle. That's kind of cute. These are little miniatures for the dollhouse. I doubt there's anything inside, but... Oh, there is. Tiny Tales, what always runs out of town? Streets. Uh, uh, uh. So there's a little, like, little jokey book. We have famous men, encyclopedia of famous men. Oh, look at the little, oh, this is Cracker Jack. It looks like a little Cracker Jack book. So that looks well in a, in a dollhouse. Magnets, they're made in Japan. Yeah, look at those little bitty magnets. So, yeah, I mean, this is pretty cool. So I, d I definitely think the box was for sure worth the $8.99 that I spent. Um, I will put the comps for the little, this guy up so you can see what they, what it sold for. But I think it was pretty good. I'm, I'm glad that I got it. It's a lot of little things that'll easily fit in my suitcase. So I'm glad that I got it. But thank you for going with me on my first ever Colorado Goodwill shopping trip. It was a lot of fun and thank you for going along with us and hopefully that you are subscribed so you can follow along in some of the other thrifting trips that we'll be doing this week while we're here and hit the bell notification so you're notified when I go live and I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. That also helps out my channel as well. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye guys. Red hot mama, red hot mama, you're the one we need. Red hot mama, some charmer. Say that I got a pair of eyes just like